In this tutorial I will show you some of the code which is further explained on this page using the button component on the jfxcentral.com website in the learn section, learn JavaFX. So it has a full explanation of all the code examples and the code examples are available on GitHub uh, in the JavaFX tutorial in the button directory. I already checked out the project, I have it here in my IDE and I have this button basic example code open. So as explained in an earlier tutorial, we are using uh, static finals for the width and the height of our application. We have the start section, which we need because we are extending a JavaFX application. We give this, uh, the stage here a title uh, and the scene is already initiated here because we also have the init which builds the UI. So this is a clear separation of methods which is used in these tutorials to make it easy to understand where the user interface really gets uh, constructed and that's in this method build UI. So what we are using here is a V box which is a vertical box to align uh, multiple components on the screen and we use a button and this button has a text and we also have a label uh, which we will change uh, when we click on the button. Now a button has an action so if you click on the button that actually triggers the set on action and here you can define whatever needs to happen. Now you can use this in uh, several ways, I'll show you uh, another one uh, too but this is using a private method here so this private method is called from this set action and here we change the text of the label. Now we add uh, both the label and the button to this uh, vbox, the main content. So main content get children at all. So we add the label and the button and we use again a border pane as explained in an earlier tutorial uh, to lay out all the components on the screen. So let's start this. So we have the label, I dare you to click on the button. Of course we dare to do that. And you just did it, I'm offended, or we just changed the title, uh, the text in this label. Now, there are several ways to define what needs to happen when you click on a button. Another way uh, is using uh, an event handler. That's what we see in this example. Um, and we can also use lambdas and actually that's my preferred way if you don't need too much code uh, happening when you click on a button and that looks like this. So instead of set action and then linking to another method, we can already use the event here and do something with this. So in this case, we will uh, ask the application to exit, so close the application. So if we try this one, you see that we ha here have a button called exit. So if we click it, the application is stopped. So that's what's happening here. Now styling a button can also be done in several ways. So if you just look at the color, so here we see that the set style is used. So we define a background color and a text fill. So if we run this example, you see that we have a blue background and white text. We can also change the fonts. So here again, the set style is used and the font family size and style are defined. Let's run that again. So you see that we have a completely different font. The size is changed. So let's play with it a bit, make it really large execute it again. As you can see, the button is a lot bigger because the font uh, got increased. So we can also do something uh, to change the button if you hover over it with your mouse. So we have an on mouser entered event. Uh, of course, you can also do this with the uh, set on action or the mouse exited. And you see that we change the style here or reset it if we exit from uh, above the button. So let's try it. So you see nothing happened here, but as soon as we hover over the button, the background color changes. 
as it is defined here. So these are some of the basic things you can do with the button. Of course, uh, having events linked to the button, like we show here, uh, will be the most uh, used function of it.